everyone and welcome back or welcome if you are new to the week's nest. For today's video, I have five rustic farmhouse Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs for you. I hope you like what I came up with and if you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get into today's projects. So the first project that I will be sharing with you is a rustic star. For this project, you will need five craft sticks and these are the larger size from Walmart. Now, I will link down below the Pinterest post that I was looking at just to kind of gauge how I wanted to place my popsicle sticks to form the star. As you see my phone here, I was just looking at a picture that I had searched in Pinterest just so I can get an idea of how I wanted to lay out the popsicle sticks to form the star. Like I said, you will need five and it's a little bit complicated for me to describe how I am layering them, but I will link that picture down below and it really was just very easy once I looked at the picture to get an idea of how I needed to stack the popsicle sticks so that they formed a star like you see here. So I decided to form the star first before applying my hot glue. Once I have the star in the shape that I want, I'm going to very carefully lift up the craft sticks and apply some hot glue. Now you want enough hot glue, obviously, that the popsicle sticks will stay together, but you don't want too much because once you press down, the hot glue will expand and you don't want to have like clumped hot glue. So I am just carefully starting corner from corner applying hot glue where needed and moving the craft stick so that it is straight before I apply the next set of hot glue, if that makes sense. I said I opted to go with a larger craft stick you can really use any size craft stick that you want so this is what the star looks once everything is hot glued and I decided to paint this I am instead going to add some twine some cotton cord rope and this beaded wired like berry garland from Dollar Tree so first I'm going to take my cotton cord and my jute twine this is the twine from Walmart. It's a little bit thicker than the Dollar Tree one. You can certainly use the Dollar Tree one, but I think the Walmart uh, jute for the price and the amount that you get, it is, I think, a better value than the thinner twine that you can get at Dollar Tree. But use whatever you have. It's totally your personal preference. So I just cut a piece of both, and I am going to start by applying this with some hot glue to the top point of the star. So flipping this over, I'm first going to apply some hot glue. And usually when I'm wrapping around twine, I don't apply hot glue with each layer of wrapping. But I found that since this was going on a point, as you'll see in a minute, I really did need to apply more hot glue just because I really wanted this um, cotton cord and jute combo to stay in place on the point of each star. So as you see me doing here, I'm applying a little bit more hot glue before I keep wrapping around this combo on the point of the star. And as you approach the top point of the star, you're going to want to apply a little bit more hot glue than you even did before, just so that jute and cotton does stay in place towards the top of the star. And you could totally just use jute if that's what you want. You can even use yarn anything really, ribbon, a thin ribbon, but I liked the color contrast and the texture contrast that I got because both strands were like a different um, weight or thickness. So once I am done, I am just going to hot glue in the back to a diagonal, the strands, press them down and cut. Obviously make sure you're doing this in the back so that you don't see that diagonal. So this is what the first piece looks like and this is what we're going to do for the top and the bottom as you see me pointing here to those points of the star. 
and then for the other we'll be taking the berry garland and doing it on the sides but for now we will do the same technique for the top and the two bottom which you see me doing here and I forgot to like frame out my phone but I was watching Kristen Kay's new lifestyle channel she's a vlog channel which is so awesome and I'm really excited about so I was catching up on that while I was hot gluing away all of this jute and cotton cord and this is what the three points of the star look like so far so I'm going to go ahead and take that jute and that is what I am going to use for the other two points that are a little bit larger of this star at first I was just going to wrap around that wired berry garland from Dollar Tree which does come in red also which would be really pretty but I picked it up in white and that's already what I had on hand so that's what I went ahead and used but I felt like it needed a little bit more contrast underneath it and that is why I'm going ahead and using the jute again hot glue as you wrap just to make sure that the jute stays in place I find that when working with like a star shape and anything that goes on a diagonal you do need more hot glue to ensure that what you're wrapping around it does cover it so this is what the star looks like so far, and now we are going to add some of that wired berry garland from Dollar Tree. So what's great about this is that it is wired, so it really does adhere nicely when you are wrapping it. And I'm only going to wrap it around the two sides of the star that have just the jute. So you can wrap as tightly or as loosely as you want, depending how much of this you want on there. And once I have that wrapped, I'm going to flip the star over. This cuts really easy with regular scissors. You don't need a wire cutter. And I'm just going to apply some hot glue and press down carefully. And yes, again, I'm burning my fingers. I really need to use those finger protectors. But I'm gonna do that on both sides and just trim the wire that was hanging out from there. So this is what the star looks like. I still felt like it was missing something. So I decided to do something similar to what I did in one of my previous DIYs, which I will put up in the cards. But I'm gonna take a strand of the wired greenery garland from Dollar Tree, a strand of the cotton cord, a strand of the jute, and some of that wired white berry garland wrap it around the greenery and make a little wreath. Once I have that wreath secured with the wiring both in the green garland as well as the white berry garland, I'm going to hot glue and press that down in the center of my star. And then I'm gonna take the jute, the cotton cord, sorry this is out of frame, and that berry garland. I'm just wrapping it around itself just like I did the wreath, and that's what I'm gonna use for my hanger for this star. And I will be placing that with some hot glue on the top point of the star. And I decided just so that it stood better to take a popsicle stick, which I will, you'll see in a minute. I cut down to size and then I hot glue that over top just to make sure that my hanger does stay in place. Showed this technique in one of my last videos with the two woodcut ornaments, but I find that it really helps the hanger stay in place. And this is how our rustic star came out. I really feel like the greenery really polished it. I love the mix of the jute and the cotton cord with some greenery. I just love adding texture to my projects, which if you've been watching my channel already, you know. And this would be a great tree ornament. This would be a great addition to a wreath. This is great on its own, and it definitely has that rustic farmhouse charm to it that I was going for. Now the next project is super easy, is a framed tree cutout. So I'm gonna take the 11 by 14 frame that you could see here I used for a previous project in the fall, which I can also link down below and put in the cards. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take the previous project out of this frame. This frame is from Dollar Tree. Again, use any frame that you have already on hand or what you want to use. So as you see, my filming background or backdrop is actually wrapping paper. I got this on clearance from Walmart last year and I just think it's really pretty and like rustic farmhouse so I knew I wanted to use it for a project. So I am just going to trace the insert of the picture frame and of course my wrapping paper drops and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the wrapping paper. I love cutting wrapping paper because it just glides and the Walmart wrapping paper is a really good quality so it's not thin like the Dollar Tree one, but use whatever wrapping paper you have on hand. And once I had that wrapping paper framed, I just took my Cricut and cut out a large white Christmas tree. And I decided to try applying it without transfer tape. I'm not doing that again. 
But if you do not have a Cricut, you could take a piece of white poster board, trace a template of a Christmas tree, cut that out. There's a lot of options for this. You can put it in the picture frame, you can Mod Podge it, although I don't know how that'd be on the glass. But super quick and easy. I love using wrapping paper this time of year for projects, so that's why I decided to do this. And I thought the white contrast of the tree against that wood grain just looked really nice and definitely very rustic. Now the next project is similar, but it's gonna be a buffalo check tree. So for this, I'll be using the bamboo cutting board that I hauled a while back from Dollar Tree, and I cut out a buffalo check Christmas tree with my Cricut. If you do not have a Cricut, you can also use a buffalo check scrapbook paper, or you could use buffalo check wrapping paper. Again, trace the template that you're using. There are so many different templates on Pinterest or Google, and then use that. Now I just decided to use my Cricut, but if you do not have one, there's a lot of different options. But since I did go with the Cricut, I was able to just stick that right onto the bamboo board. But if you were using paper, you would just Mod Podge that on. So I just centered that right on the cutting board and going in with, again, my favorite jute. This is from Walmart. I am going to wrap the jute around the top and the bottom of the cutting board. So I first apply some hot glue to the back just to secure the jute before I start wrapping it. And you can wrap this around as many times as you want. I decided to wrap it around three times. That just gave me enough thickness and I did not have to hot glue as I was wrapping around. And once I had it, oh wait, no, I did it four times, excuse me. Once I had it wrapped around enough, I just trimmed the jute and then applied some hot glue again to the back, making sure that it is in place. And then we're going to do the same exact thing to the bottom. Once the top and the bottom are placed, I decided to take just a little bit of hot glue. Again, not too much. You don't want to see it through the jute. And I just did this on the top and the front of this just to hold the jute in place more. And again, super rustic and easy. I love Christmas trees in different patterns and the buffalo check to me is just super Christmassy. Well, to most people, I guess, the red and black buffalo check and it's very rustic. So super simple way to use the Dollar Tree bamboo cutting boards if you were able to find them. If you're not able to find the cutting board, you can use any surface that you want, serving tray, a picture frame that you have, whatever you have on hand. The next project is going to be a rustic floral arrangement, but presented in a different way. The base of this project will be this round cutting board that I hauled from Dollar Tree, as well as this rustic cotton and pine cone pick that I also picked up from Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna go ahead and with my wire cutter, trim this arrangement so that it is shorter. I didn't need it as long. So I just went ahead and trimmed that. And surprise, surprise, going in with some more jute, but it's rustic, so why not? I'm gonna take that jute and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom of the greenery. I did this so that it bunched it together nice, plus it makes it easier to hot glue on the cutting board. So I just made a knot with that jute and just tied it all the way around, also wrapping it around the tail that I made when I made the knot to secure it in the first place. And then I'm just going to hot glue that the jute to the bottom and don't worry I use my wire cutter to trim that greenery you see poking out in the bottom I just forgot to show that when I was filming now since the cutting board is plastic I took a little bit of painters tape just so I would have a spot to hot glue this arrangement on without the cutting board like melting I had seen this technique a while back on Megan's channel from glue guns and roses I think she did like a plastic like wall planter I forget but I know that she did this technique with the tape and that is why it stuck in my mind for me to do this with this project but you don't want to use too much tape because you obviously don't want to see the blue tape on the white um, cutting board so I took that hot glued it you did see it a little bit on the side but I pressed it down enough where I think that I did cover it and now I'm gonna take one of these chalkboard tags from Dollar Tree, these come in a six pack, and with one of the Dollar Tree Crafter Squares paint pens, which I was actually decently impressed with, I just did some stripes on either side and then spelt December 25th. And I decided to hang that on the arrangement. Super simple, there's not much to it. 
um, yeah, I just liked the pick, so I decided to use that. Now the next project is a black and white rag tree. And for this, you're going to need one of these floral foam cones. And I'm using these washcloths, the black and white ones from the Dollar Tree. Now for this, I cut that washcloth in half and then I cut it into strips. I did not measure, but the strips were about an inch long, I would say. Um, with these type of rag projects, you, it really doesn't matter like the exact measurements. They are rustic, so that's fine. But yeah, cut that into strips. Now, I originally saw this, I think, done with ribbon on Josie's Crafts. I'll leave her channel down below. But I follow her on Instagram also, and I loved a tree that she made with Dollar Tree items. So that was the inspiration for this. But I just used what I had on hand, and I love the black and white um, hand towels and dish towels from Dollar Tree. So that's what I went ahead and used for this project. So I'm gonna start on the bottom layer and I took my strand, hot glued it together, folded it in half and then hot glued that in the first layer on the bottom. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the next layers. Again, hot gluing that strand, folding it in half, adding some more hot glue, to that folded in half strand and that's what you apply directly to the floral foam. Now I decided to use the white floral foam cone. I know Dollar Tree also has green, but the nice thing about using white, especially because I am using a white and black um, cloth to go on top of that is that I did not have to paint the cone. Um, using the green, I think against this white and black would really show through, so I would have to paint it, so it saved me an extra step. And you're just going to continue to do this. I ended up cutting too much cloth. I didn't need it all, but that's fine. And I did five layers of this um, technique throughout. Then on top, I just secured these strands that were there and I cut a smaller piece to cover the top part of the cone and just applied some hot glue directly on top. And then for this little tree topper, I decided to use the wood glitter star that comes in the wood cut out stickers and I keep dropping it and I just hot glued that standing up to the top of this tree and I thought that just added a nice touch and I wanted a little bit of glitter to add to that very like black and white look that I had going on so I hope you enjoyed these DIYs I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget and let me know down in the comments which of these was your favorite for me, my two favorite was this tree I just showed you last and then the rustic star. Um, and definitely subscribe if you are not already and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my content. It helps me know what you guys like and it helps my channel grow. And just leave me a comment. I love talking to you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.